Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at similar shapes, area and volume. Okay, so here's two cubes. The smaller cube has a side length of 1 cm and the bigger cube has a side length of 3 cm. And I'd like to think, uh, start by finding a surface area and volume of these two cubes. So pause the video now, take a couple of minutes to work out surface area and volume of both those two shapes. If you can't remember how to do this, you should watch my videos on surface area and volume before we continue. I will link those at the bottom, at the top of the screen and in the description. Okay, so you should have worked out by now that the surface area of the smaller shape is six centimeters squared and the surface area of the bigger shape is 54 centimeters squared. The volume is one centimeter cubed and the bigger volume is 27 centimeter cubed. And the pattern I want you to see here is that to go from the, uh, the side length to the bigger side length, you multiply by three. To go from the surface area to the bigger surface area, you multiply by nine. And to go from the volume to the bigger volume, you multiply by 27. Uh, you can work out these numbers by just doing the bigger number divided by the smaller number. It gives you the multiplier. Okay, so we times by 3, times by 9, and times by 27. Can you see the pattern here? Nine, uh, 3, 9, and 27. These are powers of 3. It's 3 to the power 1, 3 squared, and 3 to the power 9. That's 3, 9, and 27. 3 to the power 1, 3 to the power 2, and 3 to the power 3. And this is a kind of a pattern for all 3D shapes here where uh, we have a scale factor for the length, the normal scale factor go from the small length to the bigger length, and then to fact go from the smaller area to the bigger area, it's that you multiply by that scale factor squared. And to go from the vo smaller volume to the bigger volume, you multiply by that scale factor cubed. And indeed we can uh, write out these rules here. The length of the small shape times the scale factor is the length of B, the bigger shape, the area of A times the scale factor squared is the area of B. And the volume of A times the scale factor cubed is the volume of B. And these are the rules we're going to use in today's video. Okay, you should make note of uh, this before we continue. Okay, so we're going to use this as an example one. Triangle A and triangle B are mathematically similar. The area of triangle A is 100 centimeters squared and the area of triangle B is 225 centimeters squared. Find the missing lengths. Okay, we're going to start by talking about the area. And we're given both areas so we can use that to find the scale factor. The area of A is 100 and the area of B is 225. So we put those into the formula like this. So just replacing area of A with 100 and area of B with 225. It says 100 times, so we do the opposite of times by 100, we divide by 100 like this. Okay, now we've got this fraction 225 over 100, it's the scale factor squared, and we just simplify that fraction, you can simplify that fraction on your calculator as 9 over 4. 225 divided by 100 is the same as 9 over 4. Okay, that's the scale factor squared, so how do we find the scale factor now? Well, we do the opposite of squaring, which is square rooting. We square root both sides. And we get the scale factor is 3 over 2. The length scale factor is 3 over 2, or 1.5. OK, so now we know to go from the uh, smaller length to the bigger length, we multiply by 3 over 2 and using this equation here. So the length of a smaller shape times the scale factor is the length of B, the bigger shape. And we can substitute uh, those in. So to go from five to the bigger length, we times by three over two. But also to go from 12 to the smaller length, we go the opposite way, we divide. So we're going to divide by three over two. Okay. So you can do that in your calculator, 5 times 3 over 2 is 7.5, and 12 divided by 3 over 2 is 8 centimetres. And that's how we find the missing lengths. Okay? 
Let's look at another example. So, two vases are mathematically similar. One vase has a volume of 540 centimeters cubed, and the other vase has a volume of 2,500 centimeters cubed. The height of the smaller vase is 15 centimeters, and the surface area of the second vase, the bigger vase, is uh, 500 centimeters squared. Find the height of the larger vase, and B, find the surface area of a smaller vase. Okay, so we're going to start by using our formulas. So we have the formula uh, volume of A times the surface, uh, the scale factor cubed is the volume of B. And we know the volume of A is 540, the volume of B is 2500 because it says so in the question. We put those into the formula like this. We divide by 540 and we get 2,500 over 540, which as a fraction simplifies to 125 over 27. You can use your calculator to do that divide. If you, uh, so just type that fraction into the calculator and it simplifies it for you. It says the scale factor cubed is 125 over 27. So we need to cube root both sides because that's the opposite of cubing something. So you cube root like this. Uh, the cube root button on your calculator is shift and then the square root button. And you will get 5 over 3. Just make sure you can type that into your calculator and get 5 over 3, the same as me. So now, after all that algebra, now we know the length scale factor. Okay, so that was the first part of every question, is to find the length scale factor by rearranging the equation. Now we need to find the height of the larger vase, and we know that the length of the smaller vase times the scale factor is the length of the bigger vase. So we put these numbers in. 15 times 5 over 3 is the length of B, and 15 times 5 over 3 is 25 centimetres. So the height of the larger vase is 25 centimetres. What about the surface area of the smaller vase? Well, we know the larger vase has an area of 500, and we're going to use that information. We also need to know the uh, area scale factor is 5 thirds squared. 5 thirds squared on your calculator gives you 25 over 9. That is the area scale factor. So the area of A times the scale factor squared is the area of B, and we substitute in the area of B is 500. So the area of A times 25 over 9 equals 500. And again, we're going to do the opposite. If times it by 25 over 9, we're going to divide by 25 over 9. And we get the area of A is equal to 500 divided by 25 over 9. Just do this on your calculator, uh, and you get 500 divided by 25 over 9 is 180 centimetres squared, and that is the final answer. Okay. Now that is a long example. Maybe it's a good use of your time to rewind the video and watch example one and example two again, because I know there's a lot of information going on there. And hopefully you'll understand all the algebraic steps involved to work out these kinds of problems. But if you're happy, uh, you can uh, have a go at the practice questions at the end of this video. So here we have the practice questions and it says, um, we have a table over here. I'd like you to fill in the table. So the, if the length scale factor is 4, what's the area scale factor and what's the volume scale factor? If the area scale factor is 9 over 4, you have to square root that to find the length scale factor and then cube that to find the volume scale factor. Similarly, we're going to have to cube root the volume scale factor here to get the length scale factor and then you can square it to find the area scale factor. Have a go at that so you can fill in that table. And then on the right of the screen is a real exam style question. Two pots are mathematically similar. Uh, the surface area of the small pot is 12 centimeters squared and the surface area of the larger pot is 48 centimeters squared. The height of the small pot is 0.5 centimeters and the volume of the larger pot is 80 centimeters cubed. Find the height of the larger pot find the volume of the smaller pot. Okay, so you can pause the video now and you can try both these questions yourselves in your own time. Okay, and I'll reveal the answers when you're ready in three, two, one. 
Okay. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know how well you guys do. Okay, thank you for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember, we have plenty more videos coming every week. So remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We have GCSE videos, A-level and IB maths. So lots and lots of stuff to help you with your exams. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.